Hello everyone. Welcome to the session on analytical puzzles. Today we are going to see lesson number three, which is circular arrangement questions. Uh, in the earlier lesson, uh, we looked at row arrangement, uh, particularly uh, based on a single uh, row arrangement facing north. So quick recap on those uh, points first before we head to today's lesson. Uh, we said that you know in uh, row arrangement, uh, left does not mean immediate left and right does not mean immediate right. Two places away from a person means it is uh, second place, uh, three places away means it is a third place. And uh, we also said the definitions of the word uh, who and the word and, and refers to the person who is first mentioned in the statement, whereas, whereas who refers to the person who is immediately before the word who. Uh, now let's look at uh, today's lesson which is circular arrangement where typically the questions are based on uh, uh, certain people sitting around a circular table or a round table. Uh, so usually when we are having round table questions, uh, the questions are likely to be or rather majority of the times they are likely to be uh, even numbered uh, people so that some questions of who is sitting opposite to who can be uh, established. That, that's how the questions of circular arrangement uh, are framed. But uh, let's not understand that circular arrangement only restricts it to a round table. It actually is a closed uh, figure arrangement. So it could be a square table uh, where you know let's say there are four uh, members of a family sitting and having dinner and their positions are given or let's say it's a board meeting where uh, there is a board of directors sitting across the table in a rectangular table and uh, they're working out on the questions. So it could be any of the closed figures. So typically we can call this lesson as closed figure arrangements. So quickly let's understand what are the rules of applying to this. Uh, the first rule of course is uh, in terms of uh, the left and right. Unlike the questions on row arrangement, here in circular arrangement questions, left means immediate left because it's a loop otherwise, right? So left means immediate left and right means immediate right. We don't additionally need the word immediate to be given for these questions. The second one, who should I start this question with? So uh, typically since it's a uh, closed uh, figure, you can start with anybody of your choice. Uh, I if I were the person who's uh, uh, working on these questions, I would rather go with a person who is repeated in many conditions given. So uh, when we look at an example, I'll explain it a little clear. So you start with the person who is maximum mentioned in the question and fix that person's position and based on that you can fill the rest of the people around it. And of course the and and uh, who continues to have the same uh, logic as what we had seen in the uh, puzzles of uh, linear arrangement. Um, and two places away, three places away uh, remain same. Two places away means second place from that person. Three places away means third place from that person. So without much uh, delay, let's first look at the question and try to understand how to work out this question. So first uh, one needs to look at uh, the direction given in the question. Sometimes it is facing the center of the table while sometimes the question may be away from the table. If the question is facing the center of the table as in this example, uh, for a person's uh, left we have to go in the clockwise direction and uh, for a person's right we have to move in the anti-clockwise direction. So it's typically like you are facing the table, uh, like you are facing the center of the table. So uh, left of a person is your left which is going in the clockwise direction and uh, right means going in the anti-clockwise direction. For facing away, the reverse of it. So right means going in the clockwise direction and left means going in the anti-clockwise direction. As I mentioned earlier, how do we start the question with? You start with a person who is mentioned many times. So if in this question, in the example that is given here, if you look at it, A is given two times and B is given two times, more than any, any other person. So you can start with either A or B since they are mentioned the maximum number of times. So I'm going to take A to be the starting point. Uh, B is sitting two places away to the right of A. So once I fix the position of A, two places away to the right. Since they are facing, uh, they are facing the center, right is anti-clockwise direction. Two places away is B. So I have marked the position of B as given in the table now. Now once I fix across A and B, the next condition with reference to uh, um, either of them is C is adjacent to B. Now adjacent means it is beside. So B has two chairs beside him, one towards the right and one towards the left. 
but if i take uh, c to be the right uh, please note and refers to c so c should be opposite but if c is to the right of b opposite is a which is not possible hence c can be to the left of b so once we have fixed across c's position c is opposite to d so exactly opposite to c is d's position and then last condition says e is sitting opposite to a so a is already fixed across so a is opposite to e there's one chair left out which will be occupied by f and that completes all the three conditions for us and we have the final arrangement so now you have seen a question on uh, circular arrangement how simple the questions can be all you have to do is start with one condition and link up with the other conditions and keep moving on so jotting down uh, rather than remembering the points is very very essential for doing this so the advanced type of questions are you know some of them are facing the center some of them are facing away or the question can be of a rectangular or a square table and uh, the likes of it so we'll ha handle these questions uh, uh, on our online sessions Thank you for uh, listening into this video. See you in the next lesson. Bye.